What is up YouTube? Good morning everyone. You know what? Color's a little off. Let's... What is up YouTube? It is Saturday. I'll tell you this, I do not have a lot of time to vlog right now. There's a lot of things going on. Today's gonna be kind of crazy. So I will not have any time to vlog at all until maybe tomorrow. But I'll try to sneak in some stuff here and there. So right now my car is a mess. And there's a lot of things going on today. So I can't really focus when my car is messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my car just so I can focus more. So let's go ahead and go to the car wash. <laughs> What's up YouTube? Oh shoot, I can't even hear right now. All right, what's up YouTube? Actually, I ended up not washing the car. I just vacuumed, organized the inside because I don't really have time. The line was really long today. I didn't have time to wait. So much to do, so much to do. So I don't know when I'll see you guys again. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be in a little bit, but I'll see you guys in a second. Peace. All right, see you soon. All right, I hope there's no line. I really hope there's no line. I need to get a haircut. I really need to get a haircut. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh shoot, what about that guys? You guys like that? Look at that. Look how clean that is, man. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm pretty crazy busy today. By the way, I fell asleep on a haircut because it just felt that good and relaxing. <laughs> Wings, man. Oh my gosh. Hello, Louise. All right, what's up everyone? I know lighting's all really weird right now. It's pretty late right now. It is 11 p.m. I'm at the gas station. I got two monsters. I plan on getting Thai food tonight by myself as I actually have some things I need to work on as well. So I'm gonna be up pretty late tonight and just gotta get things done. You know, sometimes you don't have a lot of time to get it done. You just have to find a way to do it, which means you have to sacrifice things too. I'll be doing that tonight. And so let's go ahead and get some Thai food. <laughs> nah, you wish though. Right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, YouTube. So, the restaurant I'm at right now is called Bangkok Thai Boulevard here in Artesia. I used to come here a lot, and this is what I usually get. So, I got a fancy chicken with vegetables. I usually dab it with some hot sauce, and um, yeah, that's it. So, I'm gonna eat this, work on some things, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, girl, you're so overwhelming You're like a song to which my heartbeat is playing Like oh na na, oh na na, yeah Oh Oh Like oh na 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 Like oh na Good morning YouTube, what's up everyone? Um, so I'm here at the coffee shop. Got my iced coffee, Hidden House Coffee Roasters. Got my baguette, not baguette, croissant. And I'm here just at this pretty chill, laid back, pretty cool <laughs> coffee restaurant. But anyway, I'm here right now, just working on things. I love going to like coffee shops like this early in the morning because it's it gives me time to recuperate, to reset, to get the day going, and just finally get things done when everyone else is asleep. So wake up at six in the morning, get here by seven, and work on things like that. And I usually do that every single day. So see you guys in a little bit. Things I need to work on, things I need to focus on. So I'll see you guys probably in the afternoon. Peace. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everyone? Good morning, it is Monday. I'm here at work. I came in pretty early today. Today it's about seven, yeah, it's about 7.29 a.m. right now. Um, and so I'm just trying to get the pin number to the door in my phone. But yeah, it's about 7.30 right now. I came in early, came in early so I can work on things that I need to work on since Monday. And my goal is to actually leave work early so I can go to the gym and lift weights as usual. But uh, anyway, so uh, my goal guys, I need your help, all right? So as I did yesterday, I bought a bunch of healthy food at the grocery store, but I need your guys' help to keep me accountable. So I'm gonna try to my best to record everything I eat when I'm here at work. If not, I'll just tell you about it. So I'm at work. I'll see you guys in a little bit. What is up YouTube? It is now Wednesday. I just got off work and trying to fix my air conditioning at the same time while vlogging. Just got off work and um, yeah, I didn't vlog at all today. My uh, SD card broke and so I couldn't really vlog yesterday but I was able to upload 
my video where I talk about like the boot camp I'm working with which is the Firehose project so if you haven't checked it out yet make sure you check out the link in the description below and if you haven't make sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel because to be quite honest they have a lot of people who work there who have a lot of experience with programming so you can check out the YouTube channel in the description below subscribe check them out they do live videos I think once or twice a week well more than I do um, and I'm gonna doing a lot more lot more live videos with you guys too so make sure you check them out let's go ahead let's begin the day today was cool I worked on um, a pr couple projects today uh, at work and I did something a little bit more different um, now the, the code I used was the same I do the same thing all the time but the design the effort um, making a page just look so much more simple basic but so clean is what I worked on today and I'll probably show that to you later um, but anyway let's go ahead I'm hungry I'm starving I need to get food and I'm actually working on something for a friend and I'll tell you about that later too all right guys what is up YouTube um it's late at night already. Um, it's about, what time is it? It's about, pretty late. <laughs> it's about 11 p.m. right now, around that time. A long day, um, still working a few things. Um, so as you guys know, I'm starting to dive into backend development now. I'm learning so much code. Just doing the command line, it within itself, it's so fun. And to be honest, it can get really addicting. <laughs> uh, just being able to have so much power because, as you guys know, I'm a front-end developer. I came here as a junior. I'm pretty good now. I'm not the best, but I'm really good at front-end development right now. And so my skill level from when I first came in compared to a year, year and a half ago, it's, it, the, it's a huge margin to, compared to how good I am now. And I'm able to get things done and I'm able to use a lot more creativity. And to be honest, like, I feel like as if someone who was a professional front-end developer for over a year, going to back-end development could potentially have such a huge advantage over people who went from back-end development to front-end development. Why? I, 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 if, just from what I'm seeing now, from le learning back-end development, I'm able to really see how, like, I, I have a design kind of mind now. I have an artsy kind of mind now. I know how, what to make, what makes things look good in the front-end development. I know how to make things look mobile-friendly. And so trying to push things from the back end to the front end, I, I feel like it's just easier to get things done. Uh, because usually, if you start on as a back end developer, then you have to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which is pretty easy um, if you do back end. But just learning in the markup languages isn't like a pro HTML and CSS are not programming languages. They're markup languages. They're used to, the, to design the website. But going from just a architectural to cap kind of mind or, or like a, a data structure type of mind to a design kind of eye, trying to get a design, design kind of eye from that is a huge, it's, it's, the, the difference is huge. So I feel like because I know friend development really well, when I'm learning the courses with, with the Firehost project, when I'm doing my own backend stuff and now I'm doing backend at work, I feel like I have an advantage because I'm not able just to create what I need in the backend, but now I'm able to make the things that connect with the backend and the front end look even better because of my skills. So honestly, I was starting to regret it at first, but now I don't regret it. I'm really glad and thankful I went into front-end development first, then back-end. Even though if I went into back-end development first, I'd get paid more. I'm very thankful for that because I'm just able to get things done really well now in a fast-paced, in a fast, in, a, in you know, get things done quickly. And I, I'm just really thankful for that. So right now, as I'm transitioning to back-end developer, sorry, as I'm transitioning, as I'm learning back-end to become a full-stack developer, you know, things are going well. If, I mean, I said on Twitter, uh, even today, things are just going really well right now. Everything's going well, and I'm just so humbled, and I'm really thankful to God. And so, again, for everyone who's learning code, keep going at it, man. It's it's really rewarding. Actually, someone just messaged me today on Snapchat. I'm not going to say who he is, but he literally just got hired only a year ago or nine months ago as an Angular Java developer, and he got paid first getting paid, like, what, $50,000 a year? maybe 60. A year later, he just got a job offer for $100,000 a year. Life changed like that. So keep working hard, everyone. Keep hustling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was kind of fun. I loved it. This video that I'm, ed I, that I'm, I'm gonna edit it really well. I hope you guys enjoy it. But man, coding is the best thing that can happen to almost anyone other than God. So go for it, guys. It's a life changer. Um, by the way, man, if you guys, uh, whoever made it to the end of this video, please leave a comment below to let me know you watched the whole thing. Uh, please go ahead and like this video if you haven't yet. If you haven't subscribed, man, you guys have to hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you subscribe too, man. It just... 
this YouTube thing is really fun. And and it's fun because of you guys, because of the support you give me, the comments you leave back, the videos that you like, and it makes everything fun. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to head out now. I got to go. This is Chris Sean. This is Life of Web Developer. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah, girl, you're so overwhelming. You're like a song to which my heartbeat is playing. Like, oh, na, na.